Good morning. Welcome back to Perkins Acres YouTube channel. Uh, getting near the end of April. Uh, trying to get a few things done around the farm. Uh, once we get down there, I'll show you what I'm talking about. Gonna move a little gravel today from one spot to another. Just on the farm. No, haul, no road hauling. Got my trusty sidekick. And I'm trying to get something done. Uh, maybe a little rain tomorrow. But we will see. They've been saying that quite a bit. It really hasn't rained much. So thanks for tuning in. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button. And we'll get the day started. So this is what we got cooking. It's kind of my overstock pallets for the hay, parts baler. That's going, my buddy Steve. That's his dump truck as well. I was hoping he was gonna forget about it and leave it behind, but that didn't happen. So my plan is we keep hay back here. This is some of last year's first cotton, pretty shitty. Um, now that we're gonna do wrap bales only for the cows, I'm gonna stack my wrap bales back here and my firewood's my plan. So I'm gonna dig into that bank, make a little bit more room, and then take probably four or five loads down to a different spot, down on the other side of the farm where we're gonna put up another small hoop building for a tractor to live in, bale or whatever. When we got rain coming, I get back a few bales in there. But once we get that project done, filled in, we're gonna take whatever we got left extra here, move it over to here, where it drops off a little bit, so we'll be able to swing in, be all the same height, grade it so the water pitches down and have this a little more usable. I'm hoping to put uh, Green Giant Abravites down this hill, just so, because the road is right there. Just so it gives me a little bit of a buffer. People don't just have to see exactly what I got going on. But let's get the excavator fired up. Pretty good gravel I dig right out of the bank here. My whole farm used to be a gravel bank, so. Not a whole lot left, but I try to use what I can. Nice not having to go buy it. Truck's kind of loud there. The exhaust pumping out into us, but. Excavators running. Got all the glass in now. That's kind of nice. Um, I'm thinking I'm gonna tint this. Just the back half. I'm not gonna do the windshield. But it'd be nice to put a little tint on here because it is pretty pretty bright in the uh, during the day. I don't know if I'll regret it or not. gate I built um, it's working out good it's nice rugged pinned on the top so I can pull it off I haven't come up with a latch idea yet I'm thinking I'm gonna need a pin you know another pin to go through but right now I just use a ratchet strap but it's heavy enough where it's gonna stay closed just doing a short haul so I don't have to worry about it bucket in it or uh, you know it's not a very far far drive but we got a lot of buckets one at a time with the even the loader tractor I think I might as well just use the truck got my wood pile all cleaned up finally stacked up see what I got another project we got cooking here quick is uh where I stripped out this grass on top I gotta strip down the loom and we're gonna put melons in there so we can make a little better turn going up the hill. Everybody has trouble making the swing. They don't want to drive on the grass, which I appreciate, but um, it's it's a pain. It's a steep hill, and with a trailer, it's not fun. I get.
seven loads over there. A little more than I was thinking, but we gotta cut out this knob a little bit more, straighten this out, clean up the edges, and we're gonna move all that junk and push some dirt over to there. That's the plan. My 450 got her work clothes on still someday she's gonna get a restoration but she uh she's got a six-way blade no pto does have a hitch though uh diesel four cylinder she is a sweet girl love this old thing made me a lot of money 
awesome because you can, you know, go around people's yards and you're not destroying them. Get to where you got to go. Light enough to move around, no problem. And she runs like a dream, to be honest with you. Someday she'll go in, in the shop and get a good tune-up. Today, she works. We do two more over here to be extra wide and that should do it clean this up a little bit and be in good shape so that's what we got cooking so far we said two over there one more in the back these are i think are 14 feet wide 12 feet wide and 24 feet long so it's not too big but just enough keeps our tractors out of the weather finished product for you guys Oof, it's dirty um we're cutting that bank pretty good once i get this truck out of here i think i'll probably keep going i thought about running this as pasture down this back hill they got a field down low that i don't use for nothing um and i hate mowing it so it might work out but this gained me christ probably 16 feet right here nice and flat with plenty of room for the rat bales plenty of room for firewood and if i make this a little bigger i might be able to stack my logs over here but not bad messing around for a couple hours definitely gained some space level space what do you think Cal? pretty good so hey thanks for watching if you like the video subscribe and uh we'll catch you on the next one